ECUs control many systems on the vehicle, including engine and transmission, ABS and vehicle stability control, SRS, airbag systems, body controls, including lighting, locks, and windows, advanced safety systems, including adaptive cruise control, infotainment systems, integrating the phone and related apps to the vehicle. Diagnosis of these systems requires system knowledge, a scan tool capable of communicating with the applicable system, a quality digital multimeter, and in some cases, a digital storage oscilloscope. ECUs function as follows. Sensors provide input data to the control unit in the form of voltage signals. The ECU processes the data signals using logic gates or data maps to determine current conditions and what is required to operate the related system. The ECU provides a voltage signal to operate an output device that can open a fuel injector, turn the headlights on, or deploy the airbags during a collision. ECU-controlled systems require a scan tool for diagnosis. The scan tool provides the following. Read and erase diagnostic trouble codes, or DTCs. Ability to activate select outputs. View input and output data. Perform special functions that assist diagnosis, like a running compression test. The service information integrates with the scan tool when diagnosing ECU-controlled systems for the following. DTC Diagnostics System Operation Sensor Operation Input and Output Signal Data Symptom Tables for Diagnosis when no DTC is present and Component Replacement Procedures The ECU System Wiring Diagram provides the following. ECU connector pin use for inputs and outputs. Input sensor and output actuator pin identification. Wire colors. Component and connector locations. And source voltage and ground locations. The ECU system inputs include the following. Switch. ECU senses voltage or no voltage. Temperature sensor. The ECU monitors voltage between a fixed resistor and a variable resistor. This data is processed into a temperature value using a lookup table. Position sensors. The sensor provides a varying output voltage that corresponds to the component's position. Speed sensors. The sensor provides an analog or digital pulsing voltage signal. The signal is processed using a data map to correspond to the component speed. Refer to the service information for DTC diagnostics in input component inspection procedures. The ECU operates output drivers, various types of transistors, to turn components on or off. Some are turned on fully, like the headlights. Others may be duty cycled to control their output, like the HVAC blower motor to control fan speed. Refer to the service information for output diagnostics procedures. The scan tool actuator test, a DMM to monitor output voltage and duty cycle, and a digital storage oscilloscope may be needed to verify the proper output signal is present. ECUs do not fail very often. When they do fail, it is usually for an output that is not operating. This is often caused by the output device failing with lower than normal resistance, which increases current through the ECU output circuit. This can result in a failed output transistor. Only condemn the ECU after you have verified all other possibilities and have followed all inspection procedures. When replacing an ECU for an output fault, also replace the related output. Even if it bench tests okay, many output devices test okay at shop temperature but fail after they turn on and warm up, causing a low resistance or short condition. If you only replace the ECU, the new ECU will fail, causing a very expensive comeback situation.